Welcome to linuxhelp.com. For today's topic, I will show you how to make RAM and CPU load alert in NetData on CentOS 8.3. To accurately monitor the health of system and applications, you need to know immediately when there is something strange going on. NetData's alarm and notification systems are essential to keeping you informed. NetData comes with hundreds of pre-configured alarms and don't require configuration. They were designed by NetData community of system administrators to cover the most important part of production systems. So in my case, you wouldn't need to edit them. So now let's start the procedure to create alarms. I have already installed the NetData on my system. So so I'm going to just load on the browser by giving my server IP address. And data uses the default port 19999. I'm going to open it. This is showing my system performance here. The CPU load, how much RAM is using, 56.7%. So if you want to create an alarm, you have to go here. You will see all the active alarms here. To see all the alarms which are pre-configured, you have to move here system CPU. If you see this hysterious, you will find that your system will create an alarm only when the CPU load is in the range of 75 to 85. This is alarm only for the warning message and for critical alarm, the CPU load ranges will be within 85 to 95. So now you can manage your own alarm you can configure your own alarm so now let's proceed with the terminal and we will create my own alarm just move to net data configuration configuration file i am finding net data here these are all the files in that data configuration before when you move in the health.d file if you create list you will find nothing here it's a total zero file Inside your NetData configuration directory, there is a helper script called the edit config. This is the edit config file. This script open existing NetData configuration file using a text editor. If the configuration file doesn't yet exist, I am searching for the configuration file in hell.d location. The file didn't exist here. So, so I'm going to open that edit config file, move to net data location. If I open it, as you've seen here, as you've seen here, it is showing that copying this file to this location. If the file doesn't exist yet, the script will copy an example file to your net data configuration directory and then allow you to edit it before saving it. So now, I am moving in hell.d file. Now you will find the CPU load file will be there. This is a cpu.conf file. Now it is available here. So now you can configure here using Vim. Now here, this is all the alarms mentioned. Template 10 minute CPU uses, it will alert 
10 minutes of CPU uses, 10 minutes CPU IO weight, input output weight. And there is another free BSD form. I am not going to free BSD, it's a Unix version. From here, you can set your warn and critical alarms by defining these ranges of configuration. So, to make an alarm, I am defining this value as the lowest one. This is for the warning message and this is for the critical message. I can also define, in spite of 10 minutes, I am going to change it to 1 minute. And write and quit. After that, I have to reload the health.d file. I am reloading the net data health service. Net data CLI. Wait. Health. Now I am moving to my browser and reload this net data dashboard to reflect the changes. Go to alarm. You will find one minute CPU usage is 21.5% and it is showing as an alarm for a warning message. So this way you can create an alarm for your CPU load, which is pre-configured. But you can also create your own alarm by configuring by configuring your own settings. Let's move to the terminal again. If I create long list here, it will only showing cpu.con file, but we can also create vim ram.con file to show ram load on net data. You have to define some credentials here. How does the net data work to show all these alarms? So you create your own health entity. The first line in the health entity is your alarm. How to name your entity? First, have to mention alarm. RAM uses because I am checking for the RAM load, so I am mentioning its name as RAM uses. Next, you need to specify what chart this entity is listened by. So you are declaring that you want this alarm to check metrics on the system dot RAM chart. So I am mentioning own. System.ram. In third line, we will mention lookup. This line is specified what metrics the alarm is looking for, and what duration of time it's looking at. So in lookup, the average minus one m percentage of used. The minus 1m used matrix from one minute ago until now to calculate the average. On the third line, the unit line, which lets net data know that we are working with a percentage, not an absolute unit. The unit, I am mentioning it as a percentage. Now, this line tells net data how often to perform the calculation you specified in the lookup line. For certain alarm, you might want to use a sorted duration, which you can specify using the value like 10 second, 1 second. So I'm mentioning here every as a 1 second, 1 minute. Now next two lines will be of the warn and critical alarm. In these lines, you declare at which percentage you want to trigger a warning alarm or a critical alarm. 
so I am mentioning here one dollar this greater than 50 and in the case of critical I am mentioning dollar this greater than 60 this is all the metrics in percentage form now finish off with the line info line which creates a description of the alarm that will then appear in any notification you set up I am mentioning here the percentage of RAM used by the system I am writing and save it now reload the net data health net data CLI Road, hyphen, health now move to your browser and check your alarm there reload the net data dashboard now check your alarm here now RAM usage is 85.9 percent now here you will receive one more alert for system.ram so it will show RAM alert as a critical here this is system.ram and RAM uses 86.5 percent so through which you can set your own alarm by creating your own health entity if you want to create your system.load and any other load alarm so you have to create your own health entity in health.d file so this is the method to create an alarm on net data if you like it, please subscribe to our channel and also to watch more tutorial, please visit our website www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.